Hey everybody, welcome back to Action Figure Friday where we're gonna check out some kind of awesome action figure. Look at its paintwork, its sculpts, its molds, its overall fun factor, and see what we think. And today I have something I am so excited to get and I really had given up hope that I would even find these and that the one of the few good things to come out of my grandma's funeral was checking a GameStop up in Prestonsburg, I believe, and uh, liking upon these because basically these are NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the original, I believe, 1990 uh, feature film, which is still one of my all-time favorites. As a matter of fact, I rewatched it last night. And um, basically these were from like Comic-Con and they came in this awesome four pack, but you know, they were incredibly expensive and gone in a heartbeat. And then I found out about a day too late that GameStop was actually gonna get re-releases of these as individual packaging with maybe one or two less accessories. I don't remember exactly. And uh, by the time I found out, yep, all sold out online. So I'd pretty much given up hope until I went into this shop and started finding all this cool Dragon Ball stuff and then I found these. And I almost panicked because they had a couple of Leos and a couple of Raps and a couple of Donnies. And I'm like, no, I can't just have three. And they had one Mikey left. So yay, I got all four and I'm terribly excited about it. So it's T-U-R-T-L-E power time as we start looking through these things and see what we think because I'm definitely excited. So these were about $23 a piece. You can probably find them, well, I guess they're gonna be $23 a piece no matter what, but there seemed to be some kind of buy one, get one, or buy one, get 50% off kind of deal. So I think they actually came out to about 18 bucks a piece, which is really, really good. But I'm definitely anxious to get in here because even from what I can tell of the box, through the box, these things look absolutely phenomenal. And I heard in the New York Toy Fair that you know they dropped the, uh, the, the 12 inch, I guess, uh, shredder and foot soldier from the movie as well, and they strongly hinted that those are gonna get ported down into this with some other characters. So I'm definitely hoping for a Casey Jones, a Splinter, um, the grumpy uh, bald dude who was teaching the kids. I just totally lost his name. I had it and I lost it. Maybe a Danny, maybe you know an unmasked foot soldier. Maybe, hey, here you go, con exclusive, young, young Sam Rockwell with uh, the cartons of cigarettes. <laughs> that could be fun too. So we're gonna start with my favorite, Leo, and it does look like a minor bummer is. I thought these were supposed to include one extra head, but they do not, so that is a bit of a bummer. But you know what, these are still gonna be really cool, and they do have some neat little accessories. And for those of you that know, I'm kinda getting into action figure photography just for fun, and I love collecting these backgrounds, so I'm hoping each of these backgrounds is different, because that will make for some fun photography. So we'll set that to the side. Let's remove some of this tape here, so we can get all these little accessories out and start taking a look. These are the figures I dreamed of as a child. Also, a couple of years ago, I found a whole set of the turtles from the second movie with multiple heads and all kinds of stuff. And I, was, I went back and looked, because I was like, were those NECA? Do I have something really cool? But they're Playmates, and they're not nearly as cool as these, but we'll open those eventually one of these days, so. <laughs> But yeah, I saw this movie in the theater. I saw it so many times. I still watch it all the time. And uh, you know, it's definitely by far my favorite turtle anything. And I love the second one too. And maybe they'll do figures from that as well. We do get some extra hands. That's very cool. Of course, NECA still likes to use these twist ties, which is maddening. Now he is kind of stuck in the plastic, so you're going to get him out carefully. You don't want to tear things off. There we go. Oh, and April would be, of course, very cool. Now, if they do make a Casey, I need multiple heads for Casey. I need at least, ah, come on. I need at least one with the mask on and one with the mask off. I would love a third head that has the mask kind of half flipped up. God, all right, there we go. Having too much trouble with that. Oh, this is nice. This feels nice too. So of course we get the katanas. They slices, it dices. That's very nice, there's some great detail in there. We get the back of the headband, which will pop in in just a minute. We get open hands, so that's very cool. Again, spectacular detailing and paintwork. And the pizza slice, which again, since I rewatched the movie last night, you know what's really cool? That is the correct toppings from what was in the film. And it makes me want pizza with green pepper and black olives, which is actually really delicious. But I, alas, am on a hard diet. I'm doing really well with it, but <laughs> pizza is just an absolute no-no for me, it really sucks because I have no willpower to stop eating pizza. Now, when I first looked at these in the box, I was, oh, we have, oh. Okay, that's interesting. That looks like, I mean, it's, it's not the same thing. I'm not entirely sure. 
why we have an extra one if there's already one on here. Oh, I guess that one goes over the shoulder. This one, I guess, is... No, it would technically go over the shoulder as well. I guess it just goes over the other shoulder if you want it that way. Okay, that's not bad. But I was gonna say, I didn't necessarily like the way the head connects, but after rewatching the movie, I'm like, that's actually really accurate to the movie, so that's very cool. And let's start taking some articulation. Of course, you get plenty of head articulation here, and as you've seen, the headband flops around. Um, not really any mid-torso articulation. No special articulation on the shell. The arms don't really come up too much. You're gonna have to spin them around to do that. The elbow pads are loose, but that's nice because it hides the elbow joints. They do look like they're double jointed. Doesn't seem to have any, it has a tiny bit of in and out on the wrist and you definitely get some twist. Oh man, the legs, do they come out at all? I don't want to break them. They don't really, there's a little bit. The frog legs come out a little bit. Not nearly as much as I would have thought. So how am I supposed to do like awesome kicks and stuff? Huh. Okay, interesting. But again, we get the loose knee bands and they're kind of in the way, honestly, for for actually posing the knees. So that is a little bit of a bummer. But the uh, katanas, of course, they do slide right in. So that's nice. Or of course, you can just get it right in the hand. Very carefully, eventually, maybe. Trust me, we'll go through these others a little bit quicker. Okay, you gotta be careful, because I almost kind of warped the sword doing that. Uh, but yeah, so there is Leonardo. He looks great. You do have figure pegs. There's, uh, there is a little bit, okay, there is some ankle articulation. There's a decent amount of ankle articulation, but yeah, a little underwhelmed with the articulation on these, but the paint and the sculpts and the molds are so incredible. I do wish they had come with extra heads though. All right, let's move him to the side though. Let's go ahead and start running through these. I didn't mean to take like seven minutes on the first one. So <laughs> I guess I just got a lot of turtle stuff to say. So let's get in here and see what we got. Boom, 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 ba dum dum boom, dum, ba dum. No, it's almost, I'm almost doing uh, uh, Beverly Hills Cop. That was not my intention. All right, first thing we're gonna find out is is the background different or does everybody get the same? Oh, everybody gets the same. That's okay, I'll keep them though, just in case. And he pretty much, everybody's gonna come with pretty much the same accessories other than their weapons, of course. But you can definitely let me know in the comments if I'm correct in thinking that uh, the only difference in these is that they go over the opposite shoulder or not. Which seems like, I don't know, kind of an odd choice for what you would do. Ah, stupid twist ties. Come on now, there we go. At least there's only one on here. But then they have the pain in the butt of doing the pieces through the plastic as well. Okay, there we go. All right, quick rundown. Same articulation. He actually does have a little bit of mid-torso articulation that Leo didn't seem to have. His joints are a little bit looser too, so that's helpful. Yeah, same, same, same. It is weird though that I can't get any pivoting out on the legs that much because you'd think you want to do some side kicks and stuff. And yeah, pegs there. Oh, wait a minute, where's the side go? Do they just... Oh, that's right, they go on the front, okay. Yeah, nice. Can I do it like that so he's like gonna throw it? Wha! All right, and then of course you get the uh, open hands again. You get the piece back there, and you get the slice of pizza. But let's give you a good look at the actual figure. That face is pretty good. That's definitely a good Raph face. I also think, you know, as they start making more, I'd love to get Raph in the trench coat coming out of Critters. I always appreciated that he was coming out of Critters. I love that they have the uh, battle scarring, too, on the back of the shells. The shell texture is awesome. And it does not look like they're going to be doing any coming out of their shells. Well, that's interesting, too. You get some uh, texture and detail back there. That's really good. You know, look at like, just even like little paint things like that are so cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm the leader now. I don't know, I can't do, I can't really do any of the voices. All right, let's keep moving on because I didn't mean for this video to be this long, but we're gonna get there. So, two turtles to go. I originally thought about maybe doing this as a two-parter, but I was like, I can't do that to y'all. If we're gonna open them, we gotta open all at once. Yep, same background. That is a little bit of a disappointment. Now, Donnie was always my second favorite. Leo was always my favorite. 
And then I get all the tape. I did not get all the tape. I like to think I'm a Leo. Sometimes I'm, I'm I like, <laughs> then I realize I'm probably more of a Mikey, but then honestly, I'm mostly a Donnie. But at times, I can be a bit of a Raph. So I guess I'm all the turtles combined. I don't know if you remember the Building Toys Constructs, but when I was a child, I would of course watch the 80s cartoon and I would build their weapons out of Constructs and pretend I was a turtle, because it's fun. Now I just buy toy replicas and pretend I'm a turtle, because it's still fun. All right, so <laughs> we get, oh, these hands are actually a little bit different. He's got a middle finger, he's pointing hands. I guess these are like more like pizza eating hands as well. And of course you get another one of those. And the same slice of pizza because it's all from the pizza they opened in the beginning. I like the snarkiness. Bossa Nova. Chevy Nova? Uh, yep, again, same articulation on all these. I don't think we need to do the rundown for everybody. He has less articulation under his shell. The, again, I'm just gonna keep saying the same thing, so I'm not gonna keep running down all the articulation. And uh, that bow staff looks like it might be a little bit tricky to get through there. So that's kind of interesting that they did it like that. So that's not going in fast, like the swords or the uh, katana, I mean the um, sai. But it does go in there and it does hold pretty well. Well, I say that. Oh, I guess I need to tighten the knots maybe. Yeah, because it looks like I loosened them walk walking that through. So yeah, there you go, you can tighten the knots. The bow seems a little bit skinny. I could be wrong, but it seems a little bit skinny. But I do love that they have all the belts right, the texture on the pads. Of course, he's not been scarred up as much as Raph, because Raph really gets into it. Yeah, awesome. Bossanasanoff of them. That makes sense, that's a word. And last but not least, let's get a look at the good old Michelangelo. Did I show you the back of all these boxes? I'm gonna show you the back of Donnie. And then I'll flash your Raph again, just because I don't remember if I was doing that. And I want you to be able to pause if you want to see. So they got some pretty cool poses going on. Some nice um, lighting happening for them. Where's Raph? I know I showed Leo, so <laughs> let me just do that again, because I don't want to, you know, watch this later and kick myself. All right, Mikey, here we go. Now I am going to Zumba today, so maybe I could have some pizza, but that's the problem. I'll get a pizza, I'll eat the whole pizza. I don't need to do that. And I can't get a small. Mary's like, just get a small. I'm like, Pff. then it's all crust. <laughs> I should listen to her though. She's always right. <laughs> She's good for me that way. All right. Pop all the stuff out. Pop in all the stuff out. Oh, hey now. All right. Oh, that's already got some shredded the plastic off the wire. That's a little bit dangerous. If you're selling these to kids, isn't it? Surprised parents haven't sued over these. They sue over everything. Not making a judgment, I'm just saying that seems to happen. <laughs> All right, so let's see, Mikey's Chucks, I guess they just kind of, they kind of just go like that, don't they? Let's move this arm so I can do it. A fellow Chucker, eh? I know, wrong movie, but still. Mm, I don't see how they're doing it, but I'm gonna do it like that. And then I'm gonna put one Chuck in the hand. Show you the, that. The pizza's the same. And his hands, I like it. They kind of have, you can do thumbs up hands. Yeah! All right. Okay, that face is terrifying, but accurate. I like it. He's got plenty of head movement. So like, um, was it Raph? He's got some good in his shell movement. Also not nearly as scarred as Raph is. But pretty much all the same articulation going on. But yeah, the paintwork and everything. I mean, these look fantastic. They're just not quite as poseable as I had hoped, which may be tricky to get some of these awesome poses. Now you can have them slide down wires, yeah. Shut up, nobody's home. All right, so there you guys go. Hopefully that's a good look. I mean, again, when it's four figures, I feel like I kind of have to run through. And they are pretty much all the same in terms of articulation and stuff. We did see some minor differences. I think these are absolutely worth it, especially if you're like me and you're such a fan of the Turtles and particularly this movie. I love that in the second one. And if they do the second one, they gotta make, um, was it Kato? Kano? Ah, they make both Aprils. <laughs> 
But there you go, there are the four brothers, the heroes in the half shell. And uh, why as men once say, never pull, pay full price for late pizza. One of my all time favorite lines that I keep quoting and I realized watching last night, there's a whole generation of people that have no idea Domino's ever had the uh, 30 minutes or it was originally like 30 minutes, you deliver your pizza in 30 minutes or less or it's free and then it became like, 30 minutes or you get some money off, like in the movie, and then they got rid of that because legally it was causing the delivery drivers to be a little bit reckless, but still pretty awesome. I love these, I'm excited. I really can't wait to get like a shredder and maybe, you know, a few of the foot soldiers so we can do some fun stuff there. And they must give me a Casey Jones because I love that Casey Jones. But let me know, what do you all think about these? Are you excited? Are you collecting them? Were you lucky enough to get the San Diego Comic-Con version? Or are you finding these at your GameStop? What characters would you like to see? And then definitely I'm looking out for the Target NECA re-release uh, cartoon ones as well. Those two packs are gonna be phenomenal. But let me hear your thoughts. Geek out with me in the comments and I will do some reading. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And I guess now I'm gonna get out of here so I can go open up some more stuff. I'll see you all later. Bye.